Hello everybody, let's try to solve this uh, equilibrium of a rigid body problem. Uh, this problem is introducing the concept of 3D bodies. Uh, so it's going to be very helpful to know your vectors from previously. Uh, for today though, this problem is just going to be scalar. So direction is not really necessary for it. But in the future videos, we will be dealing with some vectors in these problems. So just brush up on your introduction to mechanics and physics. And we can get started with this problem. So the first thing that we remember from our previous video is that for a rigid body, we know that if a support prevents translation, a force is created. And if the support prevents rotation, the moment is created, all right? So in 3D, we have different types of supports that aren't uh, necessarily shown uh, in a 2D problem, but we can actually examine what we're working with here before we get into this problem to try and understand it. So let's zoom in on what we have here. Okay, now that we have a closer look at the support, we can see that this cylindrical uh, wooden rod is actually being fed through the support with respect to the y-axis. So it's directly parallel with the y-axis. This also means that the rod can freely slide through the support, right? You can see there's an opening right here where it feeds from one end to the other. So that means no reaction is actually gonna be produced in this y uh, direction because we know that the motion's allowed. So that means no reaction is gonna be produced. Similarly with moment in the y axis, we do not have any moment produced with respect to y because this cylindrical rod is actually free to rotate. You know, if you have a circle opening and you're putting a circular rod through the opening, uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory that you know, it can rotate. So that's uh, pretty simple. Now for Z and X, we need to just think once again about our rules, right? Translation is prevented in the X direction and the Z direction. You cannot move this way. You cannot move this way. Why? Because this rod is shrouded in metal, okay? You cannot get past it. So this means that in the X direction, we're actually producing a reaction, F at X, and in the z direction, we are also producing a reaction f at z. Similarly, try and think about it this way. If we're looking down the barrel of this x-axis, right? Can we rotate this rod kind of like this? Going from y to z, can we make that rotation? No, but we're gonna snap the rod or the metal is just going to keep it fixed in place. So based on this analogy, we can assume that there will be a reaction Mx. Moment about your x-axis. This is your reactions here. Similarly with the z direction. And that's kind of the general principle we have for these type of problems. You just need to really look at what type of supports you're given and understanding what type of restrictions are placed with each one. Okay. And just one last reminder for these type of problems, we have to consider our equilibrium equations, right? But now for 2D problems, we did f at x and we did f of y, but now we also are introducing f at z. All the summations will equal zero for equilibrium. Similarly with moment, we now have moment at x, moment at y, and moment at z will equal zero. Now let's get into solving this simple problem. Okay, so now we can actually get into the question. Determine the components of reaction that the thrust bearing A and cable BC exert on the bar. So the only thing we haven't talked about yet in this problem is this BC, which is simply going to be a reaction in the upward Z direction because this cable is supporting this member, right? So we're gonna have FBC here. Now we can finally start solving. Um, so I've set up our equilibrium equations to help us solve. We have six equations and five unknowns. So this should be fairly straightforward to solve. So with f at x, what do we have? We have summation of forces is zero, obviously. And we see that we have a of x in this direction, but we have no other x component in this problem. So we already know from this that A of X will equal zero. 
which is good. That's one part of our problem solved. Fy. What is Fy? Fy, there is no Fy, right? There's no forces in the y direction at all. So we have, uh, I guess you could write a y would equal zero, but I don't think you should write that because we don't have any reaction there in the first place, or we didn't assume any reaction, so there's no point writing it, okay? So we'll just leave summation of forces of y is equal to zero and call it that. Fz, now we have a problem. We have three different z components. So that means that we're going to have to make this an equation to solve for later, right? We have az in our positive direction, right? Here's our convention. We have negative 80 pounds. And we have fbc going upwards. So that's two unknowns. This will be equation one. We'll have to come back to it later. Now we can start talking about the moment. We have max, right? And we have these forces creating a moment uh, with respect to this bearing. So how is this going to look? We have 0 is equal to what? M A X. What's our convention? We see that with respect to this axis, we're going in the counterclockwise direction. So that means that the sign is going to be positive. And I picked this convention. And I pretty much based it on the fact that whichever way that I'm looking at these axes is going to be my positive convention. So I can clearly tell that based on this, the orientation is going to be positive here and positive here. So MAX is positive. We have this force coming downwards. And if we try to imagine the distance away from X here, we can see that's going to create a rotation about that X axis. So we have negative because why it is going downwards 80 pounds times what the distance between the x-axis and that force so it's six feet then additionally we have the fbc so that's a positive fbc and it's going to be also six feet they're the same distance away from x but this is another equation because we have two unknowns still right so we're going to have to come back to that later Fy, or at moment at y. How can we solve for this? It's the similar process to x. We're going to take 0, and then we're going to look at the distance from y to these forces. All right. So the first thing we need to realize also is that may does not exist for the support. So we can skip over that. We're looking at this 80 pound force going with respect to the y axis around it like this going clockwise, which means the sign is going to be negative, negative 80 pounds, times the distance away from the y-axis to that force, 1.5 feet, and then plus FBC times the distance 3 feet. See, this is a good thing now because we actually can solve for FBC here. If we isolate for FBC, we are going to be left with a force of 40 pounds. And our signs are correct, so that means that it is going to be acting upwards. Now we can actually solve for AZ. If we plug in FBC over here, so AZ, let me just write there, 40 pounds. Solving for AZ, we're going to be left with also 40 pounds which is giving us a positive, so we know the upwards direction is correct. And then we can also solve for MAX here, because we can plug here and plug 40 again. And MAX is going to equal 240 pounds per feet. Lastly, before we close out this problem, we just need to consider the MAZ component here, because it's still not solved for. So we are going to use summation of moment at z is going to equal zero. And we've already talked about this before. There is no force acting along the x or y plane that is creating a moment along this z axis. So we know that the only moment here is going to be maz. Therefore, maz is equal to zero. All right. So these are your final answers for this problem. 
And really this problem just comes down to recognizing what type of supports you have and how to work with all of them because it does get tricky sometimes trying to visualize how these forces create moments along these axes, especially with larger members. But with, with time and practice, uh, it does get a little bit better. Plus uh, the supports you'll start to recognize a little bit better as well. I hope this helps.